Okay, so unit two begins with Beer's Law. So this is Gary's Beer's Law problem set. Um, so remember the simple equation that we're using for most of these um, is, and I'll write it up here for you, uh, concentration, usually of the sample that I'm dealing with, uh, is equal to the concentration of my standard over the absorbance of my standard multiplied by the absorbance of my patient or my unknown. So that's going to be the equation that we're going to use for most of these problems. So the first problem says a glucose procedure is known to follow Beer's law. The 100 milligram per deciliter standard has an absorbance of 0 0.430 while the patient specimen has an absorbance of 0 0.780 calculate the patient's glucose concentration. All right, piece of cake. Concentration, which we don't know, we can leave as X, is equal to, I have a 100 milligram per deciliter standard with an absorbance of 0 0.430. And I know that the absorbance of my patient is 0 0.780. So when I do the math, I find that 100 divided by 0 0.430 is 232.558 multiplied by 780 gives me 181.395. I want to use the same basic units that we're using in the problem. So if I look at 100 milligram per deciliter standard, that's rounded to a whole number. So I would say 181 milligrams per deciliter. And you can do a quick check and say, hey, if a 100 milligram per deciliter standard had an absorbance of, of about 0 0.430, 0 0.780 is almost double that. So I look, 181 is almost double 100. It's a quick check to make sure that there isn't something terribly wrong with my math. If I had gotten something like 18 or 1800, I'd have a good idea that I had made some sort of mistake.